Around 4.45 p.m., on November 8, 2023, a video surveillance captured a man pulling over to dispose of a large trash bag into a dumpster in the 16,000 block of Ventura Boulevard. Los Angeles police believe that the trash bag is carrying the headless body of 37-year-old Maylee Haskell, a mother of three boys and the wife to the very same man seen in the surveillance video. Welcome or welcome back to True Crime Capital. This week we look into the distressing disappearance of Meili Haskell as well as her parents, Yenxing Wang and Gaoshen Li. On November 7, 2023, some Haskell hired four day labors to remove black trash bags from his la home. One worker said he was paid $500 to remove three large trash bags. Haskell claimed they were filled with rocks before later pretending the body parts were Halloween props. When they picked up the bags, they could tell they weren't rocks they noted that the bags were soft and soggy. Upon peering inside, they saw body parts and a belly button. The men then returned the bags and the money to Haskell's home, telling him they did not want to be involved. The workers went straight to law enforcement and informed the California Highway Patrol and the police. Upon arrival of the premises, police reported that nothing was located by officers and they did not find any evidence that would warrant entry into the home. For me, this is the part where law enforcement could have done better. I mean, they were informed that Haskell was trying to get rid of bodies. They could have at least found out who else he is living with and asked to do a welfare check on the members of the family. If there was a cover-up in process, they could have caught it early. Later that day, Haskell was observed through surveillance a short distance from his home, disposing a large trash bag into a dumpster in the 16,000 block of Ventura Boulevard. Video footage shows Samuel Haskell removing a bag from the trunk of his Tesla and throwing it in the dumpster. The next day around 6 a.m., a homeless man looking through the dumpster found a human headless torso and immediately called the police. The investigation led police back to Haskell's home, where they found blood and other evidence of foul play. May and her parents were nowhere to be found. So. Who is Haskell? Or is a 35-year-old director known for his work on low-budget slasher films that typically objectify Asian women. He resides in Tarzana, California, situated 25-mile executive vice president and worldwide head of television for the powerhouse Hollywood agency William Morris Endeavor. Samuel Haskell III, who also served as the CEO of the Miss America organization from 2015 to 2017, resigned amid controversy over private emails in which he criticized some contestants. He mocked one for weight gain and labeled another as promiscuous. Prior to this, Haskell III held the position of executive vice president and worldwide head of television at William Morris Endeavor, where he managed clients such as Dolly Parton, George Clooney, Kathy Lee Gifford, Whoopi Goldberg, and Prince Edward, the brother of King Charles. Haskell III earned recognition as one of the 25 most innovative and influential people in television of the last 25 years, by Television Week magazine. Married to his college sweetheart and former Miss Mississippi, Mary Donnelly Haskell Haskell III and his wife have a daughter, Mary Lane, who is an actress, and a son, Sam Haskell Jr. The couple founded Magnolia Hill Productions, responsible for producing various Dolly Parton specials. In his Magnolia Hill Productions biography, the 68-year-old Haskell is described as widely known as the nice guy in Hollywood, renowned for navigating the often turbulent and conscienceless entertainment industry with character, integrity, and a steadfast value system. Haskell has built a reputation for honesty, loyalty, and fairness. His consistent adherence to these principles has made him a respected figure, drawing actors, writers, directors, and other industry professionals eager to collaborate with him. Back to Sam and his family, the Haskells moved to the serene, family-centric community of Tarzana, located approximately 25 miles north of Los Angeles, in December 2020. Haskell's sons would often boast to other neighborhood kids about the weaponry in their house, a matter that May, their devoted mother, seemingly disapproved of and could have been an ongoing source of discord between the couple. November 8th, at approximately 11.30 a.m., Authorities eventually located Haskell at the Westfield Topanga Mall in Canoga Park and arrested hey George, good morning. Detectives here in L.A. had a busy weekend after partial human remains were found near a dumpster. And now this morning, Samuel Haskell is behind bars as the search intensifies for his wife and in-laws. Anonymous friends shared their devastation, 
describing May as a radiant presence who deeply loved her children and played a significant role in the community. Despite the time spent together, May never vocalized any concerns about her husband to friends and neighbors. In retrospect, friends believe May may have been shielding them from involvement in their marital issues by choosing not to share her woes. Haskell's next court appearance is scheduled for December 8, 2023. Authorities are actively searching for May Lee's parents and two missing vehicles, a white Volkswagen Tegan, license plate 9ANC890, and a white 2014 Nissan Pathfinder, license plate 7FRAM190. Individuals with additional information are urged to contact the Los Angeles Police Department's Robbery Homicide Division. You couldn't have asked for a better neighbor. May was an extraordinary mother an exceptional person, and a wonderful daughter to her parents. May was generally upbeat, sweet, and funny. Benemy recounted instances of May's generosity, such as dropping off gifts and providing assistance when her water heater malfunctioned. May even extended an invitation to use her shower, an offer accepted by Benemy. Reflecting on May's enthusiasm for celebrations, Benami mentioned an occasion when May brought ponies to her front yard for her son's birthday. Despite her husband's somewhat reserved demeanor at gatherings, May was actively engaged, smiling, and friendly. I know her parents. They lived here. Often in the front yard, they would sit in chairs, waving. Despite the language barrier, they exuded warmth and sweetness, especially with children, Benemy shared. Expressing unease, she expressed doubt about seeing May and her sons again, emphasizing May's deep attachment to her children and her dedication as a mother. May's life centered around her three boys, who were highly accomplished in various extracurricular activities, May held high aspirations for their future. What do you think was the motive for Sam's actions? Let's continue the conversation in the comment section below. If you find this video informative, please support the channel by subscribing and liking the video. As always, thank you for watching TCC. Until next week, stay safe out there.